if we wanted to watch a sexy show, what are some other sexy shows? Oh, I guess Baywatch. I don't think it's a show that builds sexual tension, but there's a lot of sexy bodies on display. My idea of a sexy body is probably very different than Hollywood's idea of a sexy body. Chris Pratt in the first four seasons of Parks and Recreation before <laughs> before he started working out, that's pretty sexy. But he carries a cross up a hill every Easter or whatever the day is when Jesus did that. Is that what Palm Sunday is? Is that the day? No. You're asking the wrong. I'm still trying to figure out like what my best angle is. Hey, Juliana Margulies. Is that her name? I hear you're a lawyer. You know what's a really bad angle for me? Because <laughs> the key thing about this show is just how often our arms are up in the air. And if, again, if I get sucked out the window, it's because I'm under tornado watch. Right. Our video would get so many views if that <laughs> happened. You know, growing up in Iowa, I went to public school. There would be after school fundraising events, pie walks or cake walks or they an indoor carnival. Oh, you never had this? There are numbers in a circle on the floor and you kind of like walk around and then you end up standing on a number and then they like draw a number out of a hat and if you're on that number then you win a cake? No, I don't know what that is. We have at the last minute decided to watch season one episode 23 running which is the season finale of The Good Wife. What do you know about The Good Wife? Somebody I follow on social media who I like really really likes it. Will you beep out his name when you when you do this? Um, it's about lawyers in New York City, I think. Definitely shot in New York City. One, Juliana Margulies, she used to be on ER when that was a show. I think that the beginning premise of The Good Wife maybe is that her husband has done something corrupt. This is about, what's it, Spitzer. Well, Elliot Spitzer, he was the one who hired the prostitute. Who can remember? Whitney Leathers or something. Oh, apparently you. That time when there were a lot of disgraced politicians and like their dutiful wives standing behind them at the podium. My freshman year of college, Karen Finley, who was a big deal performance artist, her show that she was workshopping for the freshman class was about Spitzer's wife. And it was so now that we've seen a little sneak peek, I think there's something else that I kind of know about this show is two of the actresses by the end of the show were had an intense feud or just had so much bad blood that they wouldn't even film scenes together. Okay, so Juliana Margulies is serious about something. Spoiler alert, I know that's Christine Baranski, right. not a spoiler alert, she's great. C Christopher North or something? Chris something? Am I right? I bet you this kid played Gavroche and Lunez on Broadway at least once. I wish I could participate in Broadway banter with you, but I just can't. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be New York or Chicago. It's kind of a nice neighborhood to be making meth. That was short. I felt like she sounded a little British with some of her words right there. When British people play Americans. Christine Baranski has dinner parties with Stephen Sondheim and Meryl Streep, and that makes me jealous. I have dinner parties with Justin. The art in her office is just color samples from Home Depot. It really is. I really don't understand what's going on. I like how Christine Baranski, love her, did not need a lot of makeup to be in the Grinch movie. But she already sort of looks like a who. Can you edit in a picture of a who, please? She has a Tony Award. So she was saying she used to date the third richest man in Europe or something? Is that what she said? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I was just thinking about her Tony Award. The child is a bad lawyer. I'd watch a show called that. The child is a bad lawyer. <laughs> that sounds like a good show. Is this supposed to be sexy? I, that's, yeah, I think so. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, I have to get used to that. I'm really badly. How is your masculinity now? Mm, 
Wow. We still have 17 minutes. Well, the rain started. Hail usually precedes a tornado, so if there's no hail, don't stress. What if there is hail? Then look outside and see if the sky is green. And what if it is? Go in the basement. What if I don't have a basement? Yeah, just die. I like her grommet outfit. Eye holes? Eyelets? Eyelets. These are your eye holes. LaSalle Street. Is that in Chicago? The streets I know in Chicago are Upper Wacker and Lower Wacker. <laughs> That's bad. Her outfit is strange there. The top is not meant to have a long sleeve shirt underneath it. Maybe she has tattoos she has to cover up. I hate Juliana Margulies. What is his lapel pin? Oh, it's the Chicago State flag. Oh, it's Chicago City flag. <laughs> So I don't understand. If it's set in Chicago, why not film it in Chicago? Well, because then how would you get all those Broadway actors? Well, plenty. You can get Steppenwolf actors. Get Laurie Metcalf. Ooh. Cliffhanger. Is she going to support him or not? It's definitely not a show to watch when you want to talk over the whole thing. But that other lawyer that she went to school with Wants to boink. I was about to say like boink and then it came out as bone. The other lawyer wants to boink her. Also, I realized that she said she was at DePaul. Uh, lots of clues telling me that this is set in the city in which I currently live. Lots of suits. Have you ever been fitted for a suit at Men's Warehouse? I guess you wouldn't have. <laughs> they really try to make it seem fancier than it is. What did we learn? Honestly... Nothing. I have no idea what happened. Um, should I stop recording? I can't. Like, how do we wrap we've, up? We've been recording for like two hours. <laughs> okay, so that was The Good Wife. Thanks for tuning in.